Hi everyone, it's Ian from DIY Home and Gardening, part 5 on uh, how to create your fuchsia standard. So, let me turn the camera around. Well, with the absence of a proper summer and some light levels, it's taken longer than hoped to get to the top of cane. But, as you can see, this one is now to the top. So, we've got a height of 75 centimetres or 76 centimetres to stopped height. Now, what does that mean? Right, I'll explain with this one. So as yet, that hasn't been finished. So the whole time we've been doing this, we've been taking out side shoots, which are these little bits. And the reason that we take the side shoots out is because we're trying to promote the apical dominance, that is to encourage the plant to keep growing upwards now we're at the point where we want the plant to bush out grow outwards as in here we now got to break that dominance and so what we do is we then take the top out and now we encourage it to produce side shoots so let me just tie this one up and I'll show you right then so that's the top tied when we say take the top out, that's literally what it means. We're just going to be taking the top section out. So, secateurs or knife, just nice, neat snip, and that is that. And you will then find that it will then start trying to go crazy, producing side shoots all the way down. You need to still maintain to remove any side shoots as they appear because we just want the growth to extend from the top here just as this one's done so I, I literally just took the top out on this last week um, just as a, a way to show you and this one I've not done too much with of late because I just thought I'd show you if you don't uh, remove the side shoots as we've been talking about throughout these videos then this is what it suddenly does so despite the fact that you've been busy stripping stuff it will still want to revert back to being a shrub and I've also left these on so you can actually see what fuchsia pink fizz looks like so yeah I mean that will look amazing and actually whilst we're here so hopefully some of you have seen the video from last year. Well, that is my, let me get back a bit so you can see the full view. That is my patio standard um, of beacon, or rose beacon that I created last year. So you can see, let's turn it round so you can get the whole lot in. So you can see just how amazing that would actually look. And so, that is what we're trying to create on these, something with taller stems which will then have the mass of these flowers onto the top. So uh, yeah, that's that's the update on those for you, on the creating the fuchsia standards. So I think that's part five, but uh, I'll have to look up and double check. But anyway, that's, that's as simple as it is. As always, thanks for watching the video. Hope you found it useful um, any questions then send them over to me and I'll do my best to answer them for you uh, whether that's on this uh, future video or other videos that I've done or just general horticultural questions um, yeah keep subscribing to the channel if you like what I'm doing don't forget to hit that reminder button so you don't miss out on the future videos I'm doing and uh, yeah, most importantly, just enjoy being in the garden, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.